So you remember all those OCG cards I've been pulling on the channel recently? Well apparently we can now use them in the TCG. What's up guys, it's Yugi Bros, and today I want to talk about the World Championship 2024 OTS Celebration. This is an event that's been happening now, I believe, for the last couple of years. Every time there's a national, or I'm sorry, a world's, the OTSs, some OTSs are doing these championship celebration events. And what I found interesting, and I wasn't 100% sure of this, but I had this confirmed to me by multiple people, so then I went and found the actual FAQ sheet is that in the basic information, can I use OCG cards in my deck? And if you scroll further down, cards printed for the Asian version of the Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG, which is called the Yu-Gi-Oh! Official Card Game, or OCG, are usually printed in Japanese or Korean, will be legal to for play at this event. While OCG cards are sometimes available in other languages, including English, especially recently with the Asian English return, uh, they are not normally legal for sanctioned play in TCG territories such as North America, Central America, South America, Europe, New Zealand, and Australia. They are legal in OCG, which is the, like, Japanese, Korean territories. An exception, though, has been made for this event since the Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG World Championship 2024 competitors will be able to use both uh, OCG and TCG cards in their deck. Due to this, duelists competing in the Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG World Championship 2024 celebration may use OCG cards in their deck. As with any foreign language card, see next question and answer, duelists will need to be able to provide a translation for OCG cards they are using. However, if it's in English, and you're in an English tournament, theoretically you won't need one there, but we do have Neuron and stuff like that otherwise. Uh, to further that, it's can I use foreign language cards? You can use foreign language cards copies. Uh, of legal for play cards printed for the TCG market as long as you can show an official translation of the card kept outside of the deck and deck box when asked to do so by an opponent or a tournament official. But guys, this means that all of the Asian English cards, I mean, this is just anything, any Yu-Gi-Oh, any real Yu-Gi-Oh card can be played in this event. OCG TCG, doesn't matter. You can use the cool Japanese Ghost Rares, you can use the really cool uh, Korean uh, God Cards, Exodia set, uh, you can use the Asian English Chaos Angel that I featured uh, on my channel that I opened, the Prismatic one, you can use anything we've opened recently on this channel is legal for this event. So the reason I bring this up is, I don't know if you guys know, but if you go to eBay specifically, TCG specifically doesn't have uh, listings for the Asian English cards, but you can find them. Typically, if you were to look up a card, let's say Dark End Dragon, for example, and we go to like, let's say the Secret Rare, there are some people that sometimes list them in the pictures section. Uh, Gamers Galaxy, like I have been uh, advocating for, is one of those people. They have an a Asian English, they have actually m multiple Asian English Dark End Dragons, for example, here, uh, and they show that it is. In fact, the uh, common, not secret, not first ed, has the OCG back, so normally it's not legal for TCG play, but it is for OCG play. Uh, but for this event for specifically, I'm using Dark End as an example, because Dark End Dragon normally fetches you about $30. This is for a secret rare. Here, let's use the super. It's the cheapest one, right? Normally these are, I think they're like 15 to 20? If I'm not mistaken. Oh, 20 bucks to $23. And Dark End's an odd one, right, because this is mostly for old formats, but still, uh, normally English copies, TCG I should say, legal copies, are 23 and higher, but you can get commons uh, here for 7. If you go to eBay and you know the set symbol or the set name for Dark End, which is CRO5, you can type in like CRO5 Dark End, and eBay's got a slew, uh, I guess it doesn't have that many, but eBay does have uh, a lot of options for this. If you want to go like a more relevant note, if you go through Gamers Galaxy Shop's uh, eBay page, for example, you can see a lot of cards here, like Ragnarika Bloom, uh, for example, which normally comes secret for us, and I think it's like $5. They have commons for threes. They have Poplar as a super rare for four. Uh, they have the Chaos Angels for 18 instead of whatever Chaos Angel currently goes for. They have the newly banned Abaloza for five, <laughs> if you count TCG. Uh, uh, but like, if you go through here, like Black Oat Laughs, for example, right? We have this as a secret rare. They have it as a rare. So our secret's like 20, 25 bucks. The rares are only like 10. Uh, Lost Art Monster Reborn, Uncensored Art, $5. Uh, and this is playable for that event. 
Uh, whereas normally this card is only an exclusive Lost Art or it's in the Kaiba briefcase thing, which I believe they're both like $30 or more. Uh, just, it's, it's crazy. Also, you could play like crazy rarities uh, that they have over there that we don't, like Ultimate Shien, for example. Uh, we don't have that luxury. Uh, they have Secret Poplar. Uh, that's a little bit more expensive, but still, like, uh, qu uh, Quarter Century Blue Eyes Twin Burst for 50. Like, that's, that's interesting. Uh, just uh, things that, like, we normally don't have. Oh, and they have all the OCG art, not the TCG art. So, like, the Streer doll, for example, is the uncensored Lost Art that we would have. But it's just casually their version of the Dreary doll. Uh, going through here, a super rare transaction rollback. Uh, it looks just weird to look at. The, the extra secret rares uh, they have on their site, too. Uh, the extra secret rares, they kind of have a little more expensive. Uh, I don't know if I'd agree with the prices for those, although they are hard to find on eBay. Uh, Lost Art Snow, or I say Lost Art, we don't have snow in this artwork, uh, but it is the uncensored art nonetheless. But this is what I'm saying, like, Gaios, it's not a medic relevant card, this is, uh, well, I, d I think this is going up because Mermel's got more support, uh, but like, Gaios is, I'm pretty sure, are like, uh, the Ultra Gaios, and this is, oh my gosh. 40 plus uh, But you can gamers galaxy has them for 15 here. Uh, yep. the 15 as well um, Just the fact that they have uh, this many different options uh, The Zeus looks insane. That's the one I think we pulled on the Opening video. I just love how that looks. Yeah, you can use these cards for that event specifically you want a Hercule console fighter uh, It's crazy that this is an actual thing uh, but yeah, you can use the OCG cards for this TCG event. Uh, if your to OTS is doing an OTS celebration for Worlds, uh, check it out. Um, if not, if you're going to one, just be aware you can use OCG cards in addition to TCG cards, which means you could use Korean, Japanese, German, English, Asian English, any language under the sun. Uh, assuming it's a, a real Yu-Gi-Oh card, uh, you can use it. So. Um, yeah, I just wanted to touch on that real quick, guys. Um, something interesting. Let me know what you think. Uh, uh, listen, let me know if you want to see this more mainstream. Obviously, they probably won't do that. They have this whole thing about territorializations when it comes to TCG versus OCG. Uh, but the fact that the Worlds event, at least, is the only way uh, so far that you can kind of mix and match your cards. Uh, I think it's a really cool inclusion, and it's a really cool way to uh, play rarities that we don't really have. Uh, in other uh, languages, but let me know uh, what you think down below, and I will see you guys in the next video.